former Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. He was also a 2016 Republican presidential candidate. Uh, Governor, it's always good to have you on the show. Uh, President Trump won your state in 2016, but then lost in 2020, both in very narrow, tight races. Why do you think he fell short the last time, and what does he need to do to, to flip it back? Well, Donald Trump is a fighter, and I think in 16 here and across the country, he was seen as a fighter for everyday people, particularly for those who've been forgotten by the politicians in Washington. In 2020, at least for some voters, I think there were some who felt like he was fighting for the sake of fighting and not for them. I think now that's why the polls have turned again and why in Wisconsin and Michigan and other battleground states, people said, you know, I maybe didn't like his tweets in the past. I didn't like a few of his comments, but I'm willing to take that because I want some security, whether it's the border issue, whether it's high prices, whether it's public safety in our largest cities. If those three issues are the referendum that this election is all about, Donald Trump will defeat Joe Biden here in Wisconsin and I think across the country. Yeah, you've seen a lot of people right now, especially across social media, saying that they could use some, some mean tweets right now. They could yes. handle that, that rhetoric again. What do you want to see Trump hit on tonight in his Green Bay rally? Well, I think it is. It's the same key. Uh, you just talked about Ruby Garcia, obviously been talking about Lake and Riley, uh, talking about not just those names, but in Wisconsin, whether it's Green Bay or Mosinee or Eau Claire or Milwaukee, we've seen far too many overdose deaths from fentanyl. That makes the border crisis a national security crisis. On top of that is high prices. Now, I lead Young America's Foundation in the polling we've done of college students. Their number one issue is not what you think. It actually is the economy. And so if even college students, if younger voters are saying high prices are out of control, uh, Joe Biden is in real trouble. And as you know, Governor, there have been all these reports of very low enthusiasm among Wisconsin voters for this election. Democrats have really been banking on social issues like abortion access to boost their support. Will that help President Biden override concerns in Wisconsin about the economy, do you think? Well, they're certainly pushing it, but I think in the end, uh, security is an issue uh, for every individual, every family that trumps everything else, no pun intended. And by that, I mean, if, if your wages aren't keeping pace with the high prices you're paying, if you're concerned about your safety, if you're concerned about what's happening with the border, uh, all those other issues become secondary. And I think that's really what you see in these polls, uh, assuming they hold through November. Now, a lot can change, but I think the more President, former President Trump talks about those big three issues, and contrast them with Joe Biden, the current president, I think uh, it, it bodes well for Donald Trump going into the 2024 election cycle. And speaking of November, are Wisconsin and Michigan must wins for former President Trump? Well, there's a couple. He's got to win uh, out of the, the big handful that are out there. It's uh, Georgia, uh, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania. If he wins three of those, I think it's a done deal. And certainly as he did in 2016, Donald Trump carries Wisconsin, I think it's over. And that's why they're going to spend so much time and attention here in the coming days. Yeah, we'll see uh, what his stops have in store today and what the next months have in store as well. Governor Scott Walker, always good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.